Yo, what's up guys? So, re really quick, before we start with this game, there was a little bit of audio recording type issue and the eye being super reliable again, so the beginning of the video is cut out because I don't know why I'm still using a 2PC setup when I'm not playing first-person shooters, but eh, <laughs> I'm a professional streamer, as you can see, obviously, from the clicks. So, this is going to be a game played on the European server and it is going to be Drew Toot, the Mad Man and the scientist of the top lane and this is where the video is going to go and continue and we're going to watch it watch the entire game so see you guys in game a scientist and dark tech developer of the top lane and in the jungle for him there is going to be an elise and this elise is not Anyone, it is the number one jungler in Europe at the moment, Bo. If you don't know who Bo is, go check out my video that is going to be in the end card. It is going to be a game where we spectate Bo and evaluate how exactly he does do so well in solo queue. However, we have to keep in mind that the number one reason why he is so good actually isn't that. It is the reason that he is incredibly good at pro play. Okay, so Jutud is going to help out the Elise here in the top lane. Elise starting in the top lane. But before we get to that, let's have a look at the matchup. So, Maokai and a... Huh, this is going to be interesting. And a Ilawi. Maokai jungle Ilawi top lane. Also starting in the top side. Red buff for them. Blue buff for... The least in the junk uh, in the, in the mid lane we have a Talon and a Azir, and in the bot lane we have the classic, the Ash, the Hybridinger, and then we have a Caitlyn and Karma lane, kind of trying to push back the, trying to push back the Hybridinger and give a little bit of pressure to Caitlyn so she can do what she wants to do, which is take plates early. All right, let's have a look at Drutut. The rock through toot. And actually, I have to rebuy. Dude, every single time I launch my game, Riot Games is resetting. I'm going to. We're going to multitask this, okay? Every single time Riot Games is resetting my bindings, and it is. I, you have no idea. It is so aggravating. It is incredible. How am I supposed to work like that? Swear to God. Okay, so H, Toggle Spectator HUD. And show scoreboard hold, show scoreboard, boom, boom, boom. All right, there we go. So, very strong trade. We're actually going to go back a little bit. I'm sorry, but it is very important to see what exactly is happening in the lane. Drutut is pushing the lane here. Because he is a ranged champion, so it is going to be very difficult to avoid that. And what he is doing here, this is very good, is he's using his dash so that his projectile auto attack, which is this Q, right, isn't blocked by the minions, and he can not only shove in the wave at an opportune time, that timing, obviously being a timing at which Maokai would have actually uh, showed up here, but um, also deal a good amount of damage, actually, to this Ilawi. Ilawi already using two corrupting potions here. Actually, I think that is the third one, yeah. Use the third one. Oh, very, very good E by Ilawi. Alright, we're going to have to... Yeah. That is that is too bad. Alright, so let's have a look at the mid lane. Just real quick, Talon being bullied out. 15 to 24 farm. XL lent mid. Doing very good. And in the bot lane, we have a dive here. Heimerdinger already gone down. But Ash 2 and O is going to be 2 and 1. Make it 3 and 1 as she takes down Maokai. 4, 1 and 0 here on the Caitlyn, and that is going to be a difficult time for Dr. Utut, because one thing is for sure, this Caitlyn is going to walk up to you and hit you with some pretty disgusting auto attacks during late game, right? However, all right, flash out of Ilawi, and the E is going to secure the kill, actually for Drutut. So that is already one kill by Drutut. He likes to play the action on top. He likes to play these mad champions here. 
And uh, this is exactly why, well, except his Polish accent, obviously, is why people love to watch him, is he does these crazy, crazy kind of champions. Whips him out, did Samira, did Ephelios, although Ephelios, I think, I haven't seen a lot of them work out very well. <laughs> But uh, yeah, the Samira definitely worked out. There were some good games there. I think I even casted one, but that is such a long time ago that I'm pretty sure deleted the casts. It took me about <laughs> about a year to get started uploading casts. I know, ca uh, casting is difficult, man. It's, cr it's actually crazy. Uh, how difficult is this? I've been like, I have like two years of practice now. Of course, that wasn't the most focused practice, but it was like a daily thing, right? Where I just said, okay, I'm just gonna grind it, right? Work on my vocab a little bit, work on the rest of my skills when it comes to casting, and then just work on myself as we have a gank here in the bot lane. Heimerdinger going to go down 100%. Ash might be able to get something out of this, yeah, as Heimerdinger will take down the Mordekaiser, make it a one for one right back at you as... In the top lane. Ilawi moving through. Just to place a ward. That is going to be very interesting. However, it is going to leave Ilawi a little bit vulnerable. The thing is, wave control should go over to Ilawi pretty soon. I think that went to, that was a kill that went down. Yeah, uh, Karma went down again. And that is quite unfortunate, of course, for the bot lane. As we are scooting into Ilawi, scooting and looting, as we will just take her down. No contest for her, no ability for her to cast her ultimate there. So that is going to solidify the lead here in the top lane. That obviously was a little bit of a question mark in between, but then Drutut found a great engage. Actually, we're going to go back and we're going to watch it in its entirety. Just because, I mean, I obviously don't have an observer here. Alright, so hits the ghost, hits the ultimate, hits her with all the damage, and now he just knows he can just, yeah, he can just slide and glide on her, or power slide as, or power glide, as we, uh, we've come to call it in the LCK. Yeah, I should definitely watch the LCK. Quite the hype matchups so far. There is a video that I'm going to upload pretty soon, which was the match highlight of week one. I wanted to uplo upload that in week one, but that was a little bit too late, but I still want to upload it. So I recommend you watch it. If you're interested, you can also subscribe to the channel, obviously. As over there, you will find a lot of replays of Madman like Drutut, but also the LCK and... Well, probably Europe-related stuff as well. However, I've been focusing a lot on to solo queue lately. Because I think that is much more useful to us plebeians. Who just want to kind of figure out what exactly is going on in the game. On that note, let me fix my... <clears throat> Beautiful. El Ramir. Will not find a gank here so far as Drutut is arriving in the top lane again. Pickaxe to his name and boots. Can run circles around Ilawi, but if you get hit by that E, it's gonna be uncomfortable. Getting hit by that E, by the way. And the Extendo Beam is going to deal a decent amount of damage to Ilawi, but you gotta be careful that you don't get poked out. On the bot lane, we have a lot of Fiesta going on. Shutdown acquired by Talon. 50 farm, 6 to 60. <laughs> 69 CS in the mid lane. And Azir is just shaking his head. It's great that Talon has his E ability, because otherwise he would have been locked in this lane and he would he, he would struggle a little bit. But, of course, that beautiful balance champion. As we go into the top lane and look at Drutut, failing once again to dodge the E. <laughs> you can, as a caster, you can build the most toxic narratives and, like... <laughs> It, it is so crazy how, like, some players just get the ca just get caster cursed in a very different way, where casters just decide that they feel like they're pretty bad. And then the, the entire, the entire, like, you know, the entire uh, stream, uh, everyone that watches, right, the entire fan base, that's what I was... <laughs> ah, language. Uh, the entire fan base kind of turns on them. 
So that can be really rough. And then also you have people like Reckless, who is obviously a fan favorite. Um, who might or might not be doing as well. Bad voices might be saying that it is not deserved. The ultimate out of the Maokai coming through. Good traps. And that is a Caitlyn taking down the Ash with a beautiful Gale Force into range. Using the headshot here onto the tower is going to leave him a little bit damageless. Is actually beautiful dive by Maokai as he will walk up Q and then W to reset tower aggro. Very, very well done. And Bo helping out the Roktor Utut. Helping him out in the top lane. Another kill going over to the dock of the League of the Lego. Alright, he will be farming up this wave real quick. Yep, taking it down. Bada boom, bada bam. And we might be recalling in this one. As we are quite fed, to be honest. And it's going to be difficult for Ilawi to uh, really contest the amount of movement speed here available for Zoe. Her best guess, obviously, would be hitting a lot of those E's and trying to poke down the dock. Good slide by him. Noon Quiver and Pickaxe, pickaxe acquire, acquire now. This already locks him in to a not-shield build. So, so it is going to be a Kraken Slayer, which is quite rare. Talon trying to vault over the wall, but we'll take down... We'll take too many tower shots and Azir takes him down for good. Azir, very careful here. And also this is great because that means that the plate goes over to a nothingness. It is null and void. Haha. <laughs> Who? Which champion is that quote from? If you know, put it in the comments. <laughs> I'm driving, driving, I'm driving engagement here, okay? This is, I'm, I'm, this is a new skill I've learned. You're supposed to be asking questions that everyone has the answer to. So people can comment and feel good about themselves, right? Everyone knows who that quote is from. I did a great job with it. I'm a great streamer. I'm a great YouTuber. I'm just good at content creation. We all know. My, my view numbers speak for themselves. So... We will be taking down the Maokai again, but not after he dunks on Ash once again. <clears throat> this is difficult, man. Caitlyn just incredibly fed at this point. And even though Ash does have a good amount of money to herself, yeah, this is the classic Drutut. This is if he wins lane against you, this is exactly how it goes. This is exactly what he does. He shows you that he knows, that you know. That it's uh, kind of a difficult lane. Kind of a difficult situation. Talking about Ilawi, I need to cast a <clears throat> LS Ilawi game. It's probably coming up in the next couple of days, I'm sure. As I need to grab a sip of water here a little bit. Ah, beautiful emote spams. 10 out of 10. As Talon will be taken down once again. <clears throat> but traded for the Azir. And Bo will take down not only the Azir, but also at least at least assist in the takedown onto the camera as well. Eh. Oh, that was kind of unfortunate there. Maokai using his flash though as Heimerdinger is an absolutely balanced champion. Very good E by him. Absolutely deserves to just. <gasps> oh, that was such a close Ash arrow. All right, come on, hi me. One E in the W. One E in the W. No. 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 All right, Kraken Slayer on the dock. Rootut. Sandobime is going to clear out the wave. The ultimate and ghost have been popped. Flash ultimate by the Lawi, and she will just be taken. Down 301 Kraken Slayer available, and this guy is going to be quite the menace. However, Caitlyn, generally not thematically not too bad versus him. You know, you step up as as uh, Zeri, and you just get a big fat headshot to the face. Does hurt, and we don't have a in classic Drutud fashion, by the way. We don't have a shield belt, of course. Who needs safety and? You know, if you can just uh, run them over. We'll see how that works for him. 
as the Maokai ultimate will once again not hit much. It's a little bit of a difficult one, right? Because the range of it can be quite deceiving. You feel like you feel like it's going to connect because it, it also seems so strong with the speed up as well. But sometimes it ends up it ends up uh just being a zoning ultimate and um then your big ultimate cooldown is gone right and i mean maokai is worth something without it but not nearly as good right one really nice trick i picked up i think i was watching nemesis stream i think so um that was a maokai that used the ultimate sideways to instantly bind him and get into W range. Very impressive. Like it. 10 out of 10. If you see someone do that, they good. Believe it or not. Ash ult. Yeah. Uh, how, how do you call that again? Crowning, I guess? <laughs> no. Ash ult will go wide. As interestingly enough, yeah, I don't know why Ash was down here in the first place, to be perfectly honest. As Mr. Azir knows, he acknowledges how ahead he is. Bo could use a little bit of help. Jutut is just going to give moral support for now. As Bo getting hit by a tentacle as well. Angry Behemoth. You see how strong these LPL and Korea players are at, <laughs> are at their emote game. It is kind of ridiculous. All right, the binding will hit. Ultimate will hit as well. And Drutut is laying chase to the Ilawi. Ilawi gonna pull out the E, but not gonna get to do much more. And that is another kill going over to the Utut. All right, well, down in the bot lane, things have been going out as they have in the lane as well. Tell him just getting bullied out because Azu. Is a perfectly balanced champion, and anyone who disagrees, you're just clueless. That's just what it is. Very amped up, actually. All right. So, again, right? Right now, Caitlyn not going to be the scariest, but also, she is powering up to soon have some pretty, pretty big damage. And that is exactly going to be the test. So far, it's been going very, very good for Jutut. He hasn't really been challenged that hard either. That was an interesting extendo beam. <clears throat> that almost hit, by the way. Right. Ash is going to throw a W in. Get some minions. But ultimately has to give up the turret in the mid lane. Turret in the mid lane is a pretty unfortunate turret to lose. Only Drutut's tier 1 turret is available. Talon feeling himself a little bit. Mm, what a beautiful ability his E is, dude. Ugh, that reminds me of the times when TF ultimate still was his E ability as well. But... He'll will go over to the Caitlyn. As two ultimates were traded for a Talon kill, I think. Focus. I believe, right? But yeah, Talon right now in a very good uh, situation. Absolutely amazing. As Drutut. This is usually <laughs> this is usually something that I've uh, that I've observed when Drutut plays. Is um, he can play these champions in laning phase. And with Akshan, he can also play him in other situations. But with these. Let's say more Eric's experimental dark tech time type of picks. He uh, sometimes makes mistakes of positioning and feeling himself a little bit and being disrespectful because he thinks Kraken Slayer is going to give him a 500 HP shield as well as giving him the damage, which turns out is not the case. So yeah, I mean <clears throat> it happens. We all have seen it happen before. And to be honest, you know, Jutut, although he does play range tops, he is going to be a top lane player, not an AD carry player. All right, so you walk up to this Caitlyn, you get auto-teched once, and half your HP missing. 
So... That is not necessarily what you want to happen. <clears throat> Azazir. Making his way around the map. Trying to collect some turrets. Never mind. He's teleporting into the mid lane. Trying to set up a play here. We are obviously fighting around the dragon. Or at least around vision for the dragon. As mm, the enemy jungler is taken down. So that m gives the control over to the blue team here. As le at least for the time being. Caitlyn. Quite a force to be reckoned with though. Yeah, the Q will not hit, so unfortunately, also a really good cancel by Heimerdinger Donger, but the problem with the cancel there, I think Heimerdinger should have actually let that come through, because now the ace in the hole is available again. So, right here, Caitlyn ults through to it, he can't partake in the fight anymore, right? Just something to uh, kind of point out, okay, okay. Caitlyn, you're... Caitlyn, your ultimate is available. Oh, oh, we're... Ah, oh, we like to ult this guy instead of... Okay. I mean, I'm rooting for Drewtooth, so I don't have a pro... I thought for a second that this was the red team Heimerdinger. And I would have been so tilted. For and about both. As the trade, apparently, is going to be a Baron trade. Interesting decision. Ilawi going to teleport in a little bit late, but you do not want to get stunned in the proximity of the Ilawi as the stun will allow the Baron to be taken down. Talon in the back line going to get stunned and bound and chased after, so he will go down once again. And unfortunately, this Baron is going to go over to the red team. However, gold lead still in favor of the blue team, and I just realized if Ilawi is if Ilawi's in these fights, she basically has three components. Like she basically has four components. <laughs> so that's great. That's gonna feel that's gonna feel real good. Real good to play. Obviously in the solo solo lane it's gonna be better, but still scary. Mo going for the classic, the Void Stuff into the... The, the Hextech Proto Belt into the Void Stuff. Imagine Void Stuff first. Nah, 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 nah. But... Yeah. Shut down. Again by Heimerdinger. Dude. Bo just can't get kills while this Heimerdinger is around. Double kill, or I think even triple kill stolen in the mid lane. And also, he got finessed here once again by the Heimie Donger. I mean, you know, it's... Uh, you... you there are worse places the gold could be allocated. Ash definitely not being one of them. She only has a, a more immortal shield bow. And the Phantom Dancer. Sorry, I'm I'm always trying to say a moral shield bow. But that's because I play Kianas. <laughs> so, yeah. Kind of a haram champion herself, right? <laughs> that's not, totally fine though. As we are setting up a little bit of vision. Bow quite the force to be reckoned with, but also so is Caitlyn, who is working her way to a Bloodthirster now, and that is going to be very scary, as uh, Drewtooth might struggle a little bit against these minions. Just, just a teeny tiny bit. But Ilawi, I'm gonna just lurk, just wait, push in once again. Drewtooth will just try to clear out the jungle while Ilawi isn't there, using your time efficiently. Very, very good. And also make sure that she can't counter jungle it. As we are pushing in another wave. And Azir summoning his turret, which is a interesting... Yeah, I mean, it could give them a good base to siege. But now they're not really in position. They're kind of looking at the play here in the top side of the map. Even though Baron is not available, and... I mean, at the end of the day, we're just trying to get money, huh? Yeah, Drew Toot, once again, taken down by the Caitlyn. And that is exactly the problem, right? That is that is exactly what you... Goodness me, this Caitlyn is a... This Caitlyn is a force to be reckoned with, let me tell you. And it's actually very possible that a Bloodthirster is available for her here as well. 
So Talon will not be able to kill her. Also, actually, very interesting that Talon... Yeah, Talon with his Prowler Claw, claw and his Yom Yom Yomus. Talon's actually not really having a lot of impact here on the game. You would think that he would be able to do a little bit more, but the Karma is just such a good champion against him, right? If she gets her W onto him before he ults, you might as well not ult anymore, as Bo and Talon find themselves a little bit in a dangerous situation. Talon has to be careful that he doesn't give Bo away here. Bo! Ah, uh, yeah. I'm... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Doc. I'm sorry. He's usually a good player, man. I vouch for him. I like him. Huh. Hi, me. Do hmm. Yeah. I mean... I don't want to say they're falling like dominoes, but... Uh, you know? It's not looking good. It is not looking good. Still not a gold lead. I was like, finally a gold lead. No, still not a gold lead for the red team, but, you know, we're getting there. And obviously, a lot of money on Caitlyn, who is, uh, um, it's going to be fun to play against. Yeah, I had, oh my God, headshot almost one shots the cannon minion. All right, the root to it ultimate is being used. Extendo beam does hit the karma. Can't really do much, y'all. Oh. That actually finds the Ilawi. Ilawi will go down once again. Ilawi definitely not paypalling at all. As, ooh, the Gale Force will come out. Beautiful flash by Bo. Ah, and he turns around and Caitlyn will sidestep his E. Redonkulous, this Caitlyn player. Who is this? Who are you? Might have to put a little bit of research into who exactly me Papsuli. Because this guy is popping up. Alright. Well, this is uh this is looking like a really rough game. Cyrilda's grudge. Picked up on Talon. Not sure if that is exactly the item that you need right now. Because you know. I think item wise there are better <laughs> there are some better choices, but it is what it is. And it is a Talon. So, you know, you, you you want armor pen on Assassin, right? Makes sense. Why not? Ka yeah, Caitlyn doing a totally reasonable amount of damage. Not being fed at all. But, you know, Caitlyn... Caitlyn is one of these AD carries who have a little bit of a trough in the mid game. But if they can, during that trough... The, the Q connected and half of Drutu's face is missing. Extendo Bean. Beautiful extendo beam. Almost takes Caitlyn down. Barely. As uh, Bo not really able to do much. And yeah, this is just the blue team kind of being choked out of options by Caitlyn's half map range attacks. And also quite, quite high damage. And also, obviously, you have an Azir and a Karma who are going to peel for this. For this Caitlyn, which uh, you know that is that is <laughs> definitely definitely a lot of fun as an assassin to deal with. As Drutud will yeah take down Ilawi once again, and I already know what the narrative in the stream is. Team's always inting, you know. Never fall. But uh, you know what do you do? I guess top lane is completely irrelevant. <laughs> I was watching Nemesis stream. And he was he was typing with Drutut and Drutut was like, nah, but like how useless is top lane or something? <laughs> he just he just was complaining about how useless top lane is, and then they were arguing, and it sounded so funny because Nemesis was like, yeah, but mid lane is useless too. Yeah, but like top lane's more useless. Like every lane is useless except bot lane and jungle, man. Ah, but I mean, boom, headshot. Especially jungle, very influential role, obviously. So you know, no one's gonna, no one's gonna argue with them. 
they do know what they're talking about. Although there might be a little bit of, you know, a little bit of bias. A little bit of bias there, you know, in StarCraft 2, you have people always complaining. And if they're Terran, you know they're not going to complain about ghosts being OP. No, 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 it's going to be... It's it's gonna be it's gonna be those goddamn high templars, dude. And it is going to be those goddamn freaking zerglings who you just push into, but they never. I'm sorry, we're talking about League of Legends, a big team fight. Ash Ultimate is going to connect with the Karma. Who cares about Karma? Talon does, as she will be taken down. No support provided to the Caitlyn, as Caitlyn just says, "I don't need any support to take half of your HP with one ability." And another auto attack here by the Caitlyn would take down this Ash. I mean, at this point, life regeneration has been kicking in a little bit. True, true. Shooting his shot. Um, yeah, he, uh, he wasn't successful, but, you know, he did try. And, uh, you know. Shield bar could have been useless, useful. However, obviously the problem... With something like the Zeri in this ma in, ma in this matchup is you're just going to get health in range. You have no peel. Sorry, you have negative peel. Um, Ash being your best peel and Ash is currently busy trying to live against Caitlyn. Basically all the time actually. And if not that then, you know, there's also Maokai. And many of other beautiful champions as well. Caitlyn will be taken down by the Ash but... It is not enough. Drew Toot coming up in a couple of seconds, but I don't think that he will be able to hold it. As XL land mid, will not be able to take a solo kill here. And so, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. That has been it from me.